evening. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Cool. Awesome. All right. Um, you know how generally when you enter the poetry circles, you find a certain type of poet. And that certain type of poet is usually dirty or broke or a sad combination of the two <laughs> and this is trying to move away from that so sure i want to go on hot air balloons and meet a man who can actually afford the moon i want to feel the wind stuck in my fro as i smile convertible smiles at all those pedestrians left behind. I want to know how it feels to have dinner, see a play, and have drinks without footing the bill. For once, I would like to chill with people who don't carry the weight of the world on their shoulders, in their bags, or on their backs. Hat. I'll admit, I wouldn't mind being showered with gifts and actually enjoying being part of the system. Not revolting or protesting or hurting, just chilling. Him spoiling, me enjoying. But sadly, it's the deep ones my heart always picks. Deep in poverty, I mean. <laughs> politics and fantasy, a world where Cinderella can be a part of Lumumba's reality, and I need poetry and words that can connect the shape of my cheekbones to Italy or Gandhi or autumn pine cones. And I want a man who can make me laugh until I cry and cry until I come and come until I shake and shake until I'm calm and kiss my forehead and say he knows just how I feel. It's sad because I am that cliche that you are one, we are I, and love doesn't start with the eyes. It starts with the stupid, bloody, misleading heart. So my heart bullies my soul into shaming my flesh for wanting Prada because my artist can't buy me Jimmy Choo's or take me on that expensive cruise and bless his heart. But his art, it can never afford American Express to forever profess canary, diamond, platinum set engagement gestures. <laughs> Seen, my poor artist will always be that employee who thinks he's his own boss, fighting a system that has him trapped at the bottom, mostly because he's so busy describing the struggle, he hasn't yet realized the exits at the top. So, I do feel guilty, but Lord, please, please may I have a be-he who writes me poetry, feed my spirituality, buy me Gucci, and still fulfill my most hidden intimate fantasy. They came to expand their nation under the guise of education. These men traveled treacherous seas, crossed barren lands to save the heathens, civilize our people. <laughs> On green, fertile soil they settled, built crosses and erected churches. They sold us milk from our cows. <laughs> they sold us grain from our soil, found diamonds in our mines and paid us to dig them up. We were civilized now, from Bantu stands to crowded hostels. We had bathed now, had salaries and wheels for transportation. Our roles had changed now, from community members to sources of exploitation. This is a poem about broken promises, no? Because you know that one person who promises you the world and looks, looks you in the eyes and says, I promise, please believe, 
cross my heart and hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. I'll carve it out your chest. Shh. You're forever mine. On the porch. That's where I'd sit and wait for my best friend to come back. I'd sit and wait for tomorrow, for my tomorrow, when like yesterday we play house under the sun and between the sheets. I waited for tomorrow when I'd see your face. Hear it from you that there'd be no tomorrow. Even though you promised and I believed. You crossed your heart and you hoped to die. Would even stick a needle in your eye. You carved it out my chest and shh me into a hopeful smile. And in my memory I brought you back. Touched my belly and gave you life. And you came back to me, my love. And swore to me you'd never leave again. In my memory, I made us a reality. You were to be mine for all eternity because you promised and I believed. You crossed your heart and you hoped to die. Would even stick a needle in your eye. You carved it out my chest and shh me into a hopeful smile. And all day long I imagined us. I imagined you and me just as we should be. You'd come back. The silence would end. You'd wrap your arms around me and be sorry tomorrow took so long and they'd all be wrong because we were meant to be, you and I. We were meant to be, you and me, because you promised and I believed. You crossed your heart and you hoped to die would even stick a needle in your eye. You carved it up my chest and shh me into a hopeful smile and then the sun went down and the sun came up and the sun went down and the rain began to fall, come inside, you'll get sick. No, he's coming for me. Just, just wait and see. Maybe, maybe not today, but tomorrow then, definitely. But you never came. Even though you promised and I believed, you crossed your heart and you hoped to die. <coughs> Would even stick a needle in your eye. I guess forever was just a lie. Right. I'm going to talk frankly about something that people don't particularly want to hear about, but it's a fact. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about fact checks. Yeah, I said it's a fact word. Let's talk about the meat in the room. Let's talk about how you're enticed by my ass. Is it June, July, August, September, past you? Or, or you imagine you could lose yourself in my thighs. That warmth, that tenderness of homegrown voluptuous pleasure. Let's talk about that. And then you can tell me you don't want to just fuck me, hold my hand in the dark, park my legs when the doors are locked. Let's talk about how you want me to be your fat fuck, your lady loves, your big break, big mama, soft sister, plump prince of hell. Let's even talk about how I'm your full-figured fantasy, some passing craze story to tell the boys. Fifty things to do before you die, fuck a fat woman. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about how great it would be to dig into my tunnel as my kitty cat wets your upstanding citizen until he erupts into ruggles of fluffy, fleshy fetus, you know, bang, bang, do, 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 get the walls, you're pushing by all that ass. So how about turning me inside out, legs wrapped around your shoulders, ass on the edge of the bed as my arms support your thrusting pelvises. Bridges across to the wall. Well, that's quench your thirst. Make for a good experience. No, let's let's talk about these things. Let's be open, and you do that's what you want me to be open. Let's talk about how fat chicks are insecure, right? Needy, clingy, you need some kind of reaffirmation so you can come and go as you please. When I get it the other way around, we're tough, back and run. That's how we like it. No, tell me. Tell me how I like it. You tell me what works for me. Maybe we'll cuddle or I'll light up a smoke just so you don't get the misconception that we just made love. Let's talk about it. Let's talk fact, frankly. Good night, guys.